What's up YouTube? Josh from EverydayFBA.com here in today's video we are going to go over Keepa. Now Keepa as you should know by now is the tool to use to help you analyze Amazon products. It helps you look at lots of data points and today we're going to do just a really basic tutorial of Keepa. Uh, we're going to look mainly at sales rank but if you want a more in-depth view of Keepa head on over to everydayfba.com subscribe to the newsletter and I'm gonna send you out my Keepa tutorial report it goes really more in-depth at all the data points to help you learn how to analyze Keepa graphs learn how to analyze the data and make the best buying decisions so if you want that report just head on over to everydayfba.com subscribe to the newsletter and I'll get that out to you guys uh, but first things first if you don't have the Keepa Google extension, you need to go get that now. It's a powerful tool, and what this extension really does is it puts that Keepa graph into Amazon's pages. So, uh, as, you, as you'll see when we start looking at some of these products, you're going to see that Keepa graph smack dab right in the middle of that Amazon product on that Amazon page. You don't have to flip back and forth, uh, so it's definitely a huge time saver. All right, so we're going to look at just two products today, just really compare them uh, and show you a couple of those data points. This is the Paul Patrol Mission Paul Cruiser. Um, I imagine it's a hot seller. It's being shipped and sold by Amazon, so Amazon's on the listing itself. Uh, if you scroll down just a little bit, here you can see that Keepa graph. Now, this is what I'm talking about when I say that a Google Chrome extension to Keepa puts this graph right there on the page. So you don't even have to go to the Keepa website and research the product from there. It's right here. And you can see the Keepa extension right here too. If I hit this button, it'll go to the Keepa website. So it's definitely helpful. Uh, down here, if you look at this graph, all right, there's a lot of stuff going on, right? Tons of things to look at, lots of data points, overwhelming and confusing. And uh, I selected every single data point you could see just because I wanted you guys to see the wealth of information that is here. and don't be intimidated by what you're seeing because you can really streamline this and dial it in to see exactly what it is you want to see. Uh, with this graph, I'm looking at the entire history of this product. So 428 days, this product has been on Amazon or has been being tracked in Keepa for 428 days. Uh, and it's got a whole range of data points, you know, ranging from the offers, the sales rank, uh, lots of different other offers buy a box you know is it used very good good uh, so there's a lot of information here and we're gonna dial it back to just the basics so what I'm gonna do is take all of these off and we're gonna start clean now we're still at the hundred no, the 428 days which is fine you can look that far back if you like uh, but most, I think most graphs load up at about three months. So automatically it's like a three month range that it shows you. And like I said, this is going to be a basic tutorial. So we're just really going to look at sales rank mainly because this is really uh, what you guys need to make the bulk of your buying decisions. I mean, you're going to need to look at, you know, is Amazon's listing? What is the new offer? What is the used offer? Depending on what product you're selling. But if you just want to know sales velocity and how quickly an item sells or doesn't, sales rank is what you need to look at and you can see that in the past three months the the sales rank here for this item hasn't peaked above 13,000 yeah about 13,000 so as far as toys goes this is a quick selling fast item and you can see uh, pretty much every single time it dips down uh, indicates a sell if not multiple sales so if we even drill this down further say we only wanted to look at today what has sales been in the last 24 hours you can see that right here just click on day and now you get more of a a clear view of the sales history you can see every time it dips down one sell two sales three sales four five six so in the past 24 hours this item has sold at least six times could be more uh, not sure because it, it's only gonna the dips are only gonna tell you when sales rank drops it's not gonna give you uh, the actual number of sales that happen to make that rank drop but it's a good uh, way to identify sales of velocity 
and as you go out you can see the numbers just get bigger the line gets a little bit crazier and if we look at 428 days you see that this thing just hugs the bottom hugs the bottom almost all the time which indicates a fast 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 selling uh, item and not only that it's really consistent in, in how it sells so just going back up to three months you can see kind of this is what you really want to look at the more this line hugs the bottom of the graph in Keepa, the better the sales rank all right guys let's check out another product this is a textbook if we scroll down and we'll look at some history of it here keep a graph right in there thanks to that Google Chrome extension uh, I'm just looking at sales rank for this item and right now it's set to 507 days so the entire history of this book is right here on this graph with a textbook generally you would want to look at a year's worth of history and this is going to give you kind of a, a view of the seasonality and you're going to be able to look at the trends of this textbook and right off the bat you can kind of see here uh, like these little sections where it really tends to start to dip down low is the start of school so this is a textbook that's gonna sell when school starts January you see August you see it start going down May you see it start going down so I mean this book sells year-round like crazy but you can look at the seasonality of it and see that during the summer session during the fall session during the uh, winter session uh, you see this book start to sell rapidly and those what cause these little dips so this is generally just a really quick fast selling book you see the ranks uh, you know stays under 2000 most of the time most of the year so it's a good selling book but just want to kind of give you guys an idea of how to spot the trends you can see when this starts to dip down lower for periods of time is when it's really really selling so you can get a an idea of the seasonality of things now this is going to apply to other things like uh, you know Valentine's Day candy Easter egg stuff that's coming up you know um, lots of uh, any holidays or any seasonal items you're going to be able to see those trends and know you know when are they going to sell when are they not and you can make your buying decisions based off that all right, guys, so that's a very basic look at sales rank using Keepa. If you want a more in-depth guide, head over to everydayfba.com. Subscribe, and I'll send you guys the how to analyze Keepa graphs. It's an in-depth look at the graphs, at the data points. What do you really need to look at to make the best, most educated buying decision you can? This report this little PDF will give you tons of information and hopefully help you make better, smarter buying decisions. Just head on over everydayfba.com and grab that. Stay tuned for that next video, guys. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go over Reprice It. This is the software that I use to help reprice my inventory. And we'll go over something like, you know, the global templates, how to set up a template, how to set schedules, how to put excluded items so that those items aren't repriced. Go over that and much more in the next video, guys. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you guys next time.